Hello everyone, welcome to Perfume Tales. My name is Suad and all, all the tales of this of my channel are about perfumes. Uh, the tale of this video is about the new release from Dolce and Gabbana in their one line. Uh, it's called the One Gold. I have a sample here uh, and I'll be sharing with you my thoughts about it. It is a real flanker. Uh, or a different one from the original Dolce and Gabbana the one uh, if you are interested keep on watching and if you are new here a big welcome uh, feel free to subscribe leave me a comment and click the like button if you like my videos uh, let's get started this new release was launched in the late of 2021 uh, it came out in this gold bottle in the same shape as the original uh, which is uh, a heavy glass one uh, as you know Dolce and Gabbana the one the original was launched in 26 that one is a fruity floral with prominent vanilla I remember didn't like it when I smell it for many years ago in that time i was new in the perfume world i was more into delicate subtle floral fragrances uh, i found it so sweet for my taste a heavy vanilla with fruity floral opening uh, now i need to revisit the original because because i am more into sweet fragrances my no nose changed and still changing so how do i find this new gold bottle how much is it different and how much is it gold uh, from the color of the bottle i was expected more intense thick uh, deep and complex version of the original gold reflects something glamour wealth rich special occasion a uh, date night kind of perfume i would say uh, i am not sure if you would love this version uh, it is totally different uh, and not a real flanker of the one line uh, it is in the same family a fruity floral but with a distinct scent profile the original uh, is peach lily jasmine and vanilla uh, why the gold is plum rose and patchouli with hints of vanilla the the vanilla in here uh, isn't the star of the show uh, it is a subtle uh, you feel it in the background behind that prominent spicy fruity rose uh, with the jasmine and patchouli let's uh, take a look on the notes as listed in the fragrantica website uh, in the note in uh, in the top you you have plum jasmine pink pepper uh, in the in the mid you have rose jasmine and lily of the valley in the base patchouli vanilla and white musk so here we go uh, what i have got on my skin uh, it's open up with a nice pleasant juicy plum uh, with a touch of pink pepper the plum in here is ripe and uh, makes your mouth watering uh, it is not overly sweet uh, maybe the pink pepper balance the sweetness the pink pepper is not prominent as it settles down a bit we get a rosy patchouli smell with jasmine uh, it is balanced in perfection uh, on my skin it is mostly rose patchouli and jasmine with pleasant fruity background uh, the vanilla is shy in the whole journey of the fragrance uh, that makes the scent uh, so pretty uh, if you don't like vanilla in fragrances i think you probably may like this scent because it is not prominent and the sweetness uh, is it in the just right amount 
it is warm uh, with fresh fresh aspects from the jasmine uh, the jasmine in here for my humble opinion balance both the sweetness and the rosiness uh, it is an amazing scent uh, i really uh, do, do like it what i like more is uh, in this scent uh, is its versatility uh, it could be dressed up or down uh, for day or night for formal occasion or work all year round for my opinion uh, suitable for fall and winter because it is warm and cozy it has uh, an autumnal fall vibe with that plum the freshness feeling that you get from the jasmine make it makes it uh, suitable for spring and summer moreover it perform well without being overwhelming uh, it became a skin scent uh, after uh, eight hour i imagine a classy woman uh, maybe a boss lady mature uh, over 30 or uh, 40 confident who want to be uh, who want to be noticed without uh, intensing any hustle and bustle behind if it makes sense uh, i hope i am not saying that badly uh, i am not english native speaker so sorry uh, uh, by the way even though it is not versat uh, it is so versatile uh, it has that sensual mysterious vibe uh, it is a scent with character also uh, for me this lean unisex i see a man wear it uh, now would i go for a full bottle of this when i first spray it it reminds me uh, of a fragrance that i have already uh, the arbot rose patchouli with fruits uh, it reminded me of gucci guilty absolute uh, you take gucci guilty absolute minus blackberry plus plum and you have the same fragrance for me they are cousin uh, this sh they share the same scent pro profile uh, they are both unisex uh, rose patchouli fragrances uh, i don't know that are my feeling and my nose my experience they are similar in some points uh, probably i would reach off a full bottle of the the one gold when i will uh, will finish uh, the gucci one uh, if you have them both in your collection or have tried them let me know in the comment section below if they give you the same vibe and feeling uh, feeling as mine uh, as a conclusion uh, if you will you you will go for this new dolce and gabbana, gabbana based on your experience with the original i can assume you that they are not the same the name gold don't match the juice in my opinion uh, so give it a try before buying it however uh, if you don't like the original i think you may like this one uh, i was really enjoyed by exploring this gem uh, i hope you have enjoyed my review as well uh, thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Uh, take care and smell good. See you at the next week. Bye.